Hello, it's April 11th. I cannot believe how fast this month is going by. And it's a Wednesday, so it's a normal, it's my normal errand day. And I love this motto. It is, um, it should be something that we should all be, you know, striving for. Just, it, we're never going to be perfect. And if you think you are, uh, you, you probably wouldn't be watching my channel. It'll probably drive you nuts all the stuff I do wrong or wacky at the nicest way to put it. But um, no matter how good you may be at anything, there's always room for improvement. Always a better, smarter way to do anything and we just learn and um, get over ourselves right but the first place I went to was Lowe's and I went there looking for something I came up with an idea for the exhaust for the tools because like um let's see if I can show you see the bag hanging on the back of the um, saw it's uh, zippered in the bottom, so you can, you know, uh, get things out from that way, or you can pinch the crimp at the top of it uh, where it connects and pull the whole thing off and put something else to it. So I was thinking about different things I could do. Uh, that's one of the things. Of course, there's still going to be sawdust over here, but most of that stuff gets sucked, you know, gets tossed back there. But if the bag gets filled or it's... <clears throat> It's, I don't think it's even been taken out and shaken uh, loose of all the stuff that's in there. So it definitely has something to improve there. But I went to Lowe's looking for something um, that I can rig to the backs of it. And the only thing I could find was this, you know, this is a duck hose for uh, dryer vents, for your dryer, clothes dryer. So I'm going to give this a try and see if I can crimp. Um, I don't need all of this for that one. But I wanted to get it to where I can have the hose at least come down to here um, so most of it gets blown into that and not just be, you know, by chance just fall over into it. So that's something I'm going to work on uh, probably later today or tomorrow. I'm definitely going to do that. Sorry about that. I need to remember how to operate this thing properly, the tripod. But I went into the paint section because there's some things I need to paint and it's not for sale. Um, that, so it doesn't have to be uh, white. So I got some exterior paint and it was kind of grieving me to spend, because paint, I'm just, I'm just shocked at the price of a gallon of paint and, uh, and being thrilled to spend $15 on a gallon of paint. Uh, I mean, that's just kind of sad, <laughs> but I found um I went to Lowe's, I was looking in their paint department and the return paints. So I was looking and they had one that obviously, uh, it was actually a very dark green. And I was looking at that, but they didn't have it marked down. It wasn't, you know, it would have just rung up, whatever, uh, whatever it was. And I was asking her if that was also $9 because uh, there was a couple other uh, gallon cans that had been returned and they, uh, they both had $9 on them. So I was asking her if it was 9 and she was carrying this with her. And um, she looked at the dark green um, paint can and she set this on the counter and I go, oh, never mind. <laughs> I like this better. It's a, you know, they, they put that on the top whenever you buy your paint, the whatever you color you selected so you know what it is. And, um, but this is an exterior paint, which is what I was wanting. So this is the only can. This is normally $35, $34.95, something like that, $35. I got it for $9. Good deal, huh? These little sample things, you can get a sample of a paint. And someone did this, actually, I got something very similar already uh, in a chalk paint. But uh, what I need to paint doesn't require the chalk paint thing. And this is a dollar. I don't need a lot of it. So um, I think normally this is like two, this is like two or three dollars. Um, when you just get a sample, but they brought this back uh, and it's a dollar. This thing was like, uh, this can is like nine dollars. It's an interior can. I like this taupe, whatever the they want to call this. 
but it's two fifty instead of nine dollars. So, and maybe it's ten dollars nine ninety five. Five uh, timber. And it's primer too, so I don't have to worry about the prime priming it. So I think this was like 1050, 1048 is what I remember. Uh, but it was under eleven dollars, definitely. And it's eight feet. So that's more than enough stretched out. And I, I do want it to have it stretched out uh, as much as possible um, because uh, it doesn't need to be kinked up where dust and things can collect in there. Getting this, um, a $26 savings. So in fact, what I saved on here was what I spent for the whole thing. So I was really excited. I'm using that word too much. Thrilled, very happy <laughs> to get this deal. And the stuff the, that I need to paint, I can. I'll, I don't mind this color. It'll, in fact, it'll probably do better than the white that I was picturing in my mind. And near this uh, location of Lowe's that I went to was that restaurant supply place. And I bought 10 more of these. And they're $350, $349. And the lids, I got four lids. I'm, I already put them to use, uh, the three of them. The lids are $2.99. So that's the prices now. So I got 10 of these. So I'm organizing. If you watch my uh, garage cleaning and organizing videos, that corner that has all my husband's stuff, uh, for us to schedule the time together it just isn't going to happen and he doesn't have time to come out here and go through all this stuff and he's going to take even longer to do it than I would. So I asked him if I can use one of the rolling um, red tool carts and put anything that's automotive related tools that don't belong with woodworking, not directly. I mean, uh, screwdrivers don't really belong. You're going to use screws eventually, but hopefully not. But you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and use these bins to put all his stuff into, um, don't pay attention to my nail polish, I just noticed how bad they, they've cracked, uh, chipped in the two days since I did it. But uh, I'm going to start organizing and getting all the stuff together and clearing out that corner. And I got those casters in the video up, uh, uploaded last night to show you what... Um, I can do with another cart and, the, and what I'm going to do with one cart already so I can get the certain things like um, that drill press and the chainsaw sharpener and the bench grinder and some other things and put it onto a cart and we can wheel that in and out of places. Um, this is, they're pretty much empty. Those shelves down here on this side is empty. I have no idea what's, once we start uh, getting past that, this section, I've no idea what that, all that stuff is. And I'm gonna try to organize what I don't know. Not always a smart thing. But uh, I got some things at Dollar Tree, that'll be another video, that um, I'm gonna use to help me organize some things. So, If you are not real particular about a color, you can try your local, um, and you can even call them, give them a call and say, hey, what, what colors have you got in an interior or exterior paint um, that someone's brought in? And save yourself some money. So uh, I would not have spent $35. I, that, that's, that just is not in my budget to spend on a gallon of paint especially for stuff that's not, I'm not reselling it. I'm not, I don't, you know, it's just for us here. Uh, in fact, that's why the, originally the stuff I was making didn't get painted because I just did not want to spend any additional money. And I was trying to figure out ways, anyway, it needs to be painted. It will, it will last longer, especially if I do a good job of that. Um, picking out, you know, uh, something to protect the wood. So that's, an investment to cover the work and time and uh, money expense I've spent on the wood. 
So that was really uh, not thinking as clearly, but if I if I thought about it, because I used to do this before, uh, years ago when I painted my son's, uh, did a big mural, I was able to get pretty much what I needed buying small little um, cans like this already with the color or close enough to where I can mix and make my own because you know you can darken it lighten it you can do other things and tint it yourself so I was able to um, paint basically a prehistoric scenery for his room <laughs> uh, when he was a toddler he, he's outgrown that but uh, did it cheaply so to keep this in mind if you need to paint something uh, call them up or if you're in Lowe's, just check it out and see what they got. And if you know that you're going to be using something and you don't care that it's um, that color and it's an expensive paint. So thanks for joining me. I hope this uh, helps you or opened up some possibilities for you. Uh, be a blessing and be blessed.